Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to flatten a nested object in JavaScript. But first, let's define what we mean by flattening an object. Essentially, we want to take an object with nested properties and create a new one, which is a shallow object with all of the properties at the top level. For example, consider the following nested object. We want to transform this into this flattened object. There are a few ways we can achieve this in JavaScript. So stay tuned. So one option to flatten a nested object is to use the object.assign method. So let's create our nested object here first. Now to use object.assign method to flatten this nested object, you simply create a variable to store your new object. So let's say const flatten equals object.assign. And then we pass in this argument here. So basically the object.assign method creates a new object and copies the properties of one or more source object into it. So we can use this method to create a new object that is a copy of our original object with all of the properties from the original object and any nested object merge into the top level object. So let's console log our flattened object. And there you go. We now have a new object with the same properties. So another option is to use the object.entries method which is my favorite, to get an array of the object key value pairs and then use the array.prototype.reduce method to merge the pairs into a new object. So here's what I mean. Let's create a function here and call it flatten and then we'll pass this object argument here and then we'll return object.entries and then we'll pass this object argument here again, dot reduce. So basically this function uses the reduce method to iterate over the key value pairs in the object. And for each pair, it checks if the value is an object. If it is, it calls the flatten function recursively to flatten the object. And if the value is not an object, it spreads the key value pair into a new object and add it to the accumulator object. So let's call our function here. Let's say const flatten equals then we'll call our function here and then we'll pass in this object argument. So this function will recursively flatten any nested object. So if our original object contain more nested object, for instance, they would all be merged into the top level object. So let's console log this too and see. And that's it. Those are the two different ways to flatten an object in JavaScript. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to hit the like button and help the channel grow by considering to subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.